Today we'll make this wreath from Dollar Tree decor. Keep watching. You're going to pick out some greenery that you would find on a walk in a forest or in a park. A lot of this was thrifted and some could have come from Dollar Tree at one point. Been in my stash a while, so I'm using what I've got. Things that look like you would see them in the spring. Okay, and then you've got this cute little sign. I have sanded off the glitter and I have roughed it and scuffed it up on all of the surfaces here. See, so on both the carrots and I'm going to do the same thing on his face. All right, so we're going to move the tag and also remove your hanger. I'm going to take some of this wired burlap ribbon from the Dollar Tree and this one as well, the polka dots. Love this. Here's some thrifted ribbon that I got from the thrift store. I had put it back in my stash for Halloween, but it's perfect for Easter. And then this pretty green. These have the little tags with the little pointy plastic things on them, so you can just push those out. You don't even have to cut them. You can use pliers to remove these, which I started off with, but they come out super easy if you just pull them. But be careful, those little staples are very sharp. If there's any pieces left in there, go ahead and cut those off. And then, this isn't necessary, but it was necessary for me. I had to have those back sanded down. And when you sand them, it's so satisfying because the little holes just disappear completely. I don't know if you're into that kind of thing, but it, yeah. My kids have got me into those satisfying videos with all the gel and the, and the goo and yeah, I watch it with them. Okay, so going right along here with the sanding, we're gonna take all the little edges mainly off of this bunny because I'm going to add something and I wanna be sure that we can age this bunny a little bit more. He's already pretty rustic looking, but I wanna add a little more age to him. It just softened the look of the black lines on his face and on his nose. And I like that look. I think it's, uh, it's better for the rustic um, feel that I'm going for. So here's some of that Waverly Antique paint or wax, whichever one. Gonna add it on a wet wipe. Just mix it really well, just kind of blend it up, thin it out. And then I'm just gonna start applying it on here. You see how it instantly gives it kind of a brownish aged color that's what we're going for and when you go around the edges with that on that bare I guess whatever the backing is underneath the picture it gives it a more defined kind of edge or border and I like that all right so with my thrifted wreath that I've had forever and repurposed several times you guys have got to do that you really can save a ton of money if you just repurpose your items from season to season. You'll see me not using very much glue, mainly just putting these pieces in here um, in the wreath. That's the good thing about these vine wreaths too. They really hold on to your stems. You might consider if you're putting it outside where you get a lot of wind, maybe using some wire or something to hold it down in there, but it can still be removed and you can still use your wreath again. So I'm just going to put the main weight of the greenery to one side of this wreath. You can do it any way that you like. Then I'm thinking about where I might want to put my little sign. I'm continuing to move around the greenery here and there. Now these I think are supposed to be magnolia leaves. I can't quite remember what these are. This dark green, smooth looking piece. It bothered me that the green was flipped around and it looked kind of cheap. So I'm just trying to move it around where I can get the dark side on the outside. I'm going to take these picks of fern and put these in here. Uh, it is my understanding that you can get these like a, a cheaper version of these fern picks at Dollar Tree. I haven't seen them at mine. Um, so guys, be sure that you are checking out your thrift stores for florals and for greenery because I'm telling you, I have gotten some beautiful, beautiful pieces 
just right out of the thrift store. And when you use the Goodwill outlet, you pay by the pound. So you can really save a lot of money and get a ton of florals. They're so lightweight. And believe me, I get a ton every time I go. My basement will prove that. Just one walk through and you would see I have a wall of florals and greenery. Okay, so I'm just gonna straighten these pieces out. They've gotten kind of bunched up. I want them to look a little more lifelike. So I'm just gonna bend them apart, give them a little airiness and let those be our little flyaways. I think it was Ramon at home where I got the flyaway verbiage from. And I really like that because they just kind of fly away. They just poke out and do their own thing. And I like that. Those little picks give a little bit of brightness to all that dark in there. But I love this woodland rustic look. When the wreath is complete, I do go back in there and pull out one of those picks on the side because when you see in the end the pictures, you can see that it just looks a little too heavy in that one particular area. So I did remove one of those picks and I do like it better. All right, these I picked right out of a, an old floral arrangement um, at the thrift store. I just pulled out the pieces that I wanted and left the rest for whoever could use it. And again, these little pieces, they look springy to me and they are bringing a little bit of light into all of that dark foliage there. But don't get me wrong, I love the dark foliage, but against that um, dark wreath underneath, I feel like it needed a little more light, so those little pieces will do that. And they're also little flyaways also. If you're ever watching my videos and you don't want to watch the whole process of me doing something like that you can click up top on the little dots and you can speed it up you can choose what speed you like but i will warn you sometimes i talk fast and it might make you dizzy to listen to me at that speed okay so we're going to put these pipe cleaners glue and a little tab of paper just to secure these down on the back of these pieces of sign so that we can put them down safely and securely on that wreath without having to necessarily glue them Then we can use these pieces again for another project and we can use a wreath again and all of our greenery again. And you're saving a ton of money. Okay, so here's our little bunny and we're just gonna nest his face down in there, almost like he's peeking out of the bushes. The happy carrot is going to go on the top, a little bit off center to the left. And then in the bottom center, we're going to put the Easter carrot. All right, protect your fingers. This is a mesh, this burlap. That glue will go right through it and cook your little fingers and take your fingerprints right off. So be sure that you are using something to protect yourself so that you can live to craft another day. All right, we are making a bow now for our bunny. We are gonna stack this little bow and this is what we're gonna do. Green is gonna be our longest section on the bottom. We're gonna decrease it by about an inch and put our next loop which is our burlap, the brown. And then we're going to do the same thing for this checked ribbon. Okay, so here we go. We just put them together like that and it's gonna be a stacked bow just like that. Now we need something to go in the center. We're gonna tie it down and then we are gonna add a centerpiece over that, which is the part that you could skip if you would like. What I'm doing now is just kind of folding it over, trying to make sure that I'm in the center before I make a tight tie in here. If you make a little bit of a looser tie, then you have a little more flexibility to move those bows around so you don't have a lopsided bow. Okay, so we're gonna make a loop in the middle. It's gonna be the center of our bow. Same process, but with just a tiny bit of fabric or a tiny bit of ribbon. I don't know if I mentioned, these are all wired ribbons and you will see that when I fluff it out. This is why we like wired ribbon. See how you lift it up and it stays where you put it. Isn't that cute? 
then you can fluff it out in different directions. If you choose to use all of the same color, you can certainly do that. I think a little checkered bow would be adorable on this wreath by itself if you wanted to do that. But I like the little, the layered look and all of the colors in here really match the wreath well. And they give me the look that I'm going for, which is, you know, the wooden, woodland rustic look. You're gonna press that down for a moment. If you have a clamp available, go ahead and grab your clamp. Fortunately, this one will fit right between the bunny's ears perfectly. And let that be your extra hand while you move on to another piece. So we're going to cut five to six inch segments of a coordinating ribbon that we used in the bow, four of each color. And I made it right to the end of my ribbon. So you know what that means? Yep, I'm going to have to go back to Dollar Tree. Okay. Now, you can stack them and dovetail them just like this to save some time. Do the same thing on the other end, or you can do them one at a time. Now, I'm going to go in here with my orange and white. Cut those off too. Four pieces, just as before. Stack those, fold them, and dovetail them on both ends. Oh, I didn't use green. That's right. I was out of green. So I just used these colors. So you're going to have four of two different kinds. This is a really simple, simple little part. You're going to take your pipe cleaner, cut it into segments. I cut mine into thirds. You want enough length on the pipe cleaner to wrap around to secure that little tail and then still to be able to tuck it inside and secure it in the wreath. So now you can bend out your little tails whichever way you want them and this is what it's going to look like. We're going to do four of these. I pull them down in the uh, the loop, you know, the uh, bent section. I pull them down tightly with my fingers. See how I pull them tight? And then I twist. Twist them tightly. So I can manipulate them and twist them out and fold them without them slipping out of the wire. So you want to do this pretty tightly. You can use floral, um, floral wire for this if you don't have any pipe cleaners. And you can certainly use you know, a different color if you want to. Maybe green would be good. It would probably disappear down in there. But the way you fluff these out, you won't necessarily see them. So I'm going to seat these down in just some random areas in the wreath. If you need a little bit of something to hold it, go ahead and add just a dot of glue. A little bit goes a long way with hot glue. And just choose your areas around the wreath that you want this. Looking back, the bow that I'm putting in now probably should have been a little bit lower down um, if that other piece, that piece of extra greenery was out of there. Greenery. Mm. If that piece of greenery was gone, but that's okay. I think it looks cute the way it is, and I'm going to add one right here. And this is what we have. What a wonderful way to spruce up a $1 piece of decor. I had everything else at my house. This literally cost me $1 to make. Everything else was in my stash. What do you think about this? Did you buy this sign? This is a really cute sign on its own. And if you did get it, what are you going to do with yours? You're going to leave it alone? You plan on putting it in a wreath or doing some other type of decoration with it? I appreciate each and every one of you guys. We have 494 people as of today. Welcome to the family. I'll see you again soon. Bye.